This week we're getting coached up by defensive line coach Ryan Nielsen and coach I'm really excited about what your guys have been able to do through the first couple of games. What are you looking for in a defensive lineman? The first thing we talk about is effort. We want guys running to the football, playing as hard as they can. And if we can get effort, then we can coach them just about to do anything. The guys that put pressure on the quarterback, yeah, you want the defensive ends, but how important is it, that unit, to get pressure on the quarterback for this defense? Well, it takes all four guys to get a sack. You know, So we coach all the guys getting up the field, collapsing the pocket, getting on the edge, and, and hitting the quarterback. And of course, the mentality, I'm an offensive guy. You're going to coach me up, former tight end. You ready to do this? I'll try to coach you up. Oh, you try I'm to coach me up. Offensive guy. OK, well, that, that, right, that is true. Let's do this. All right, coach, you got to get me ready to go, get ready for the game. The first thing you asked me when I came to you, you said, what, are you? Tough enough. Am I tough enough? That's right. I like to think that I am. What well, do you? Let's see. Well, let's see. All right, so we're going to get you in a stance. All okay. Right, so Mark, get your feet right underneath the armpits. OK. All right, get them a little bit wider. But make sure your toes are straight across now, OK? Now what we want to do is we want to screw our cleats in the grass. So get up on the balls of your feet. Got gotcha. you in a right-handed stance here. So you can take your right foot, put it back toe to heel. And this toe to heel stagger, you look down. All right, now what we want to do is we want to put our forearms right on our thighs and we want to get bent down right there, okay? That's the Z and the knee that we're looking for. That's our power angles when we come out of our hips. We're going to take our right hand, put it straight out in front of your face mask, straight out there, okay, and then drop it down on the ground into your three-point stance. Wow. Hang the opposite hand right there. Oh boy, there's an offensive stance right there. Get that knee in, all right, we want your butt a little bit higher than your hat, okay? Now, if I'm the guard, you're gonna look right here at my tip of the pad, and that's what we're keying. We're an attack and react defensive line. Okay. So when that tip of the pad moves, all we're looking is for is a short six inch step by that back foot right there. All right. It does not matter what the guard does. So if he steps here, yeah. that's all you're doing. Now, okay. we want a six inch step, all right? Not a two foot step, all right, Mark? All right. Get the, the first step in the ground. <laughs> you got to attack and react, all right? All right, you got it, coach. So let's do it again, yeah, here we go. Right? Here, here, here. Just on the tip yeah, of the pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hand there. Yeah. You gotta hang it uh, on the ground. Uh, 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 All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, uh, That's it. Good. Uh, now, you're in your stance yeah. right here. Now we want to shoot our hands and we want to shoot to the breastplate. Okay. We want to get your face mask right on the tip of the pad. Okay. And when you got your hands inside, you want to lock that uh, out and run your feet up. Wow. What an explosive position that I felt like I was in. The crazy thing is, offensive lineman, I want to feel like I'm more upright. Right. But coming out low, I did. I felt like I was exploding into you. Yeah, we want low pad low. We want to create a new line of scrimmage. We want to knock the offensive lineman back. We want to lock our arms out. And as soon as we've got control of that right. blocker right Locking there. you like this. OK, and when you lock your arms out, all right, and your hat is in the gap right there, that's when we work a shrug shed. And you'll guys see our, our guys shrug, finish with a rip, and they'll make the play in their gap. How much of it is lower body strength, and how much of it is upper body strength? It's a, it's a combination, 50-50. Yeah. Using the hands, getting through, obviously that comes a dance once you get into the guy. Yeah. It's uh, it's like um, hand-to-hand -hand combat is what it is. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to really be quick with our hands and our feet. Right. Okay, and our eyes have really got to be focused on that tip of the pad. It really doesn't matter on that first step. It's the second step of how we're reacting to that offensive lineman. You know, you've got a bunch of guys that, you know, T.Y. McGill, Thomas Teal, uh, defensive ends, Art Norman. How different is it from your defensive end to your defensive tackle? It's, a, it's slightly different. We'll put the guys in the outside hand down and the, and the defensive end and the inside hand down at a three or a one and our defensive tackles. Um, but the teaching is still the eyes are the same, the hat and hand placement is still the same. Absolutely. And then when you get the goal line, do you change up at all, hat, stance? Depending on what the offense has given us, you know, splits, uh, extra linemen in the game, so on and so forth. We'll do it by call. All right. How, grade me real quick. How did I do? A plus. A, oh, there you go. All right. Great job. Coach Nielsen getting me coached up on the defensive line and defensive end. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fire it up.